Hi, this is question F from the short answer questions for the maths admissions test for Oxford for 2018. Um, we've got a particle moving in the xy plane. It starts at the origin. Uh, so let me just label the origin somewhere down here. And at each turn, it, might, it may move in one of two ways, either two to the right and one up, or one to the right and two up, so translated by the vector stated. Now, um, when I first looked at this problem, I thought, oh, it's like one of those uh, questions where you have a knight moving around a chessboard. But in fact, it's not quite like that, uh, because in fact, it can only go right and up or up and right. Okay, So it can't go back on itself. Uh, so when it says what's the closest the particle can come to the point 25, 75 here, we don't have to think about, oh, is there a complicated route to get to exactly the point and all that sort of stuff. Um, otherwise, the distance would just be you know, zero if we could just go straight to the point by doing a, a different path. Um, we can only go two across, uh, two, two across and one up, or one across and two up, and we've got to get to this point uh, 25, 75. So let's say, uh, let's put that on here, roughly maybe 25, uh, 75 will be here. Uh, it could be, so that's two squares across and six up. And then we notice, you see that 25, 75, so that means that the ratio of, if I wanted to hit exactly, the ratio of up moves to right moves would be three to one. Okay, so really to get as close as I can to this point, it feels like my best option is to always go up as, as far as I can, right? So I want to make all of my moves, if I make all of my moves across one and up two, okay? And then that will keep us on a line uh, here, which would be like, uh, I'm not trying to make this accurate at all on the grid, by the way, uh, y equal, on the line y equals two x. All right, so if I'm lucky, the closest point is just going to be a point uh, on the line y equals 2x uh, perpendicular. Uh, you know, so if, if the closest, if the if I can find, okay. So what I'm trying to say, if the closest point to the to, uh, on the line y equals 2x to this point is one that is, is is an exact number of steps one and two up across and up, then that'll be my answer. If it turns out that this point here is not an exact multiple of ones in, of, of this vector one two, then I might have to think a little bit more. But I'm going to go directly at it and just um, and just hope that uh, hope that it is. Uh, often they make these questions turn out nicely uh, uh, towards the end. If it's not, we may just tweak the answer sort of slightly at the end. But that's my logic. Okay, so uh, now from A level maths, you need to be able to write down uh, equations of lines very quickly. I really recommend the form. Uh, y minus y1 is m x minus x1. Lots of other videos on these if you need to look that up. And I'm going to look at the dotted line then. So it's y minus 75. Uh, the gradient uh, of this dotted line is going to be minus a half because it's perpendicular to a line with gradient 2. Okay, uh, so minus a half uh, x minus 25. Okay, and I want to know uh, where does that intersect the line y equals 2x, so I can just substitute 2x here in place of y, so 2x and find the x-coordinate, so 2x minus 75, um, well I actually I'd rather multiply by minus 2 uh, here than multiply this all out, so let's say minus 4x plus 150 multiplying everything by minus 2 is equal to uh, x minus 25, so that gives me 5x is equal to uh, 100. Uh, 75 and that gives me uh, the answer x dividing by 5 is equal to 35 and y equals 2x so uh, y is equal to 70 it has turned out to be on a nice integer coordinate for x uh, let me know if you think that was obviously going to happen I'm not sure I don't think it was obvious but perhaps perhaps there's a reason that it it was going to you that you could see here um, and uh, so x equals 35, y equals 70 is going to be the, the the point here, and that's the the closest one. So, uh, so I just need to work out the distance. Uh, so I've got a distance of 10 across here and 5 up. So by Pythagoras, uh, the answer to the question is the square root of 10 squared plus 5 squared, which is the square root of 125. Uh, so that is the square root of 25 times the square root of 5, which is 5 root 5. Okay, So there's a bit of thinking to be done in this question. As we're going through the short answer questions, they're starting to get a bit harder with a bit of, with more problem solving in them. Um, and that means that you have to be really fluent in the little bits of math that you need 
uh, to be able to do those really fast. So you don't have to think about those and you can keep your mind focused on the problem. And we do get an answer here that's one on the list. So that's always good. Okay, I'm gonna keep making these and I'll put them all into a playlist uh, so you can have a look at the ones that you're stuck on. And uh, let me know if you have any other ways of doing them, if you think there's a faster way uh, or a different way that would also work. And that would be great. Okay, I hope that was useful. I will see you in the next one.